Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to indelible ink. Consider the following statements. 1. Mysore Paints and Varnish LTD is the only company authorized to produce the indelible ink used in general elections in the country. 2. Indelible ink was first used in the country's third general election in 1962. 3. Its main constituent is ammonium nitrate, which reacts with the skin protein and makes a strong bond. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is A. Its main constituent is silver nitrate, which reacts with the skin protein and makes a strong bond. The purple colored ink is applied on the left hand index finger of the voter in a polling booth. Once applied, the ink cannot be removed by any chemical, detergent, soap, or oil for several months. The ink is used in all elections across the country. Silver nitrate used in the ink is caustic to the skin. The ink dries out in less than 40 seconds and leaves a dark stain behind. However, the strength of the stain depends on the quantity of silver nitrate used. According to the manufacturers, the concentration of silver nitrate ranges from 7% to 25%, but the exact composition cannot be disclosed due to proprietary concerns. Question 2 on extrajudicial killings, popularly known as Encounters, the National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, and subsequently, the Supreme Court have laid down proper guidelines and procedures to be followed to prevent any misuse of power by law enforcement agencies. Consider the following statements about this. 1. The guidelines came in the case People's Union for Civil Liberties v. State of Maharashtra and included the registration of a first information report FIR, as mandatory along with provisions for magisterial inquiry keeping written records of intelligence inputs and independent investigation by bodies such as the CID. To the next of kin of the diseased must invariably be associated with such inquiry. Three following an inquiry, a report must be sent to the judicial magistrate having jurisdiction under section 190 of the code. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. To only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. A magisterial inquiry must invariably be held in all cases of death which occur in the course of police action. The next of kin of the diseased must invariably be associated with such inquiry. In every case when a complaint is made against the police alleging commission of a criminal act on their part, which makes out a cognizable case of culpable homicide, an FIR to this effect must be registered under appropriate sections of the IPC, the court said in its judgment, adding that such an inquiry made under Section 176 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, 1973 must show whether the use of force was justified and action taken was lawful. Question 3 Consider the following statements about Cocoa Islands. 1. The Cocoa Islands are a small group of islands in the northeastern bay of Bengal and are part of the Yangon region of Myanmar. 2. To the north of this island group lies Landfall Island, belonging to Myanmar, and to the south lies Preparis Island, belonging to India. 3. Coco Island Group consists of 5 islands, 4 on Great Coco Reef and 1 on the Little Coco Reef. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 only. The answer is B. To the north of this island group lies Preparis Island, belonging to Myanmar and to the south lies Landfall Island, belonging to India. 
क्वेश्चन फॉर द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चाइल्ड राइट्स एन सी पी सी आर रिसेंटली इशूड गाइडलाइंस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर कंडक्टिंग अ प्रिलिमिनरी असेसमेंट टू डिटरमाइन वेदर अ चाइल्ड शुड बी ट्रीटेड एज अ माइनर और नॉट इन क्रिमिनल केसेज विच कम अंडर द हेनस ऑफेंसेस कैटेगरी ऑफ द जूवेनाइल जस्टिस केयर एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट दिस वन ओल दो द चाइल्ड इज डिफाइंड इन द जे जे एक्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन एज अ पर्सन हु हैज नॉट कंप्लीटेड एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक प्रोविजन अंडर विच इनिशिएशन ऑफ एन इंक्वायरी इन टू अनस क्राइम हैज बीन डिफरेंशिएटेड बेस्ड ऑन द एज ऑफ द चाइल्ड टू द सोल एम ऑफ द प्रिलिमिनरी असेसमेंट is to determine whether a child the age of 16 to 18 years should be tried as an adult in case of a heinous offence three the national commission for protection of child rights ncpcr is solely responsible for conducting the preliminary assessment which it must complete within 3 months from the date of the first production of the child before it which of the following given above is are correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 and 3 only the answer is a the juvenile justice board jjb is solely responsible for conducting the preliminary assessment which it must complete within 3 months from the date of the first production of the child before it according to section 15 one of the act in case of a heinous offence alleged to have been committed by a child who has completed or is above the age of 16 the juvenile justice board shall conduct a preliminary assessment with regard to his mental and physical capacity to commit such offence ability to understand the consequences of the offence and the circumstances in which he allegedly committed the offence the board may then pass an order that there is a need for a trial of the child as an adult question 5 according to the status of women in agri food systems released recently by the food and agriculture organization of the united nations fao consider the following statements one tackling gender inequality in agri food systems can reduce hunger boost the economy and reinforce resilience to shocks like climate change and the covid-19 pandemic to closing the gender gap in farm productivity and the wage gap in agri food system employment would increase global gross domestic product gdp by 1% or nearly 1 trillion dollars three agri food systems are a major employer of women globally and constitute a more important source of livelihood for women than for men in many countries which of the following given above is are correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 3 only the answer is c Despite the importance of agri-food systems for women's livelihoods and the welfare of their families, women's roles tend to be marginalized and their working conditions are likely to be worse than men's irregular, informal, part-time, low-skilled, labor-intensive and thus vulnerable. Question 6 consider the following statements about World Chagas Disease Day. One the theme for World Chagas Disease Day 2023 is time to integrate Chagas disease into primary health care. To every year 16th April is observed as World Chagas Day. 3 it is often termed a silent and silenced disease as the majority of infected people have no symptoms or very mild symptoms. Which of the following given above is are correct? A 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 and 3 only the answer is b every year 14th april is observed as world chagas day world chagas disease day was first observed on 14th april 2020 with an aim to raise the awareness and visibility of the people suffering from the disease 
14th April was chosen to mark the day as the first case of Chagas disease in a human was reported on this day in 1990. A Brazilian girl named Berenice Sors de Mora was the first patient of Chagas disease. The disease got its name from Dr. Calros Ribeiro Justiniano Chagas, who diagnosed the disease. It was later termed as the silent disease because of its slowly progressing and frequently asymptomatic clinical course. Question 7 with reference to Chagas disease, consider the following statements. 1. This can cause kidney and liver failure. 2. It is caused by the parasite Trypanosoma crisu. 3. Chagas disease can be transmitted to humans in various ways that include eating partially or uncooked food contaminated by the feces of the infected bug, during blood transfusion from an infected person, or getting in contact with wild animals infected with the parasite. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is D. This can cause serious heart and digestive issues. The disease is also called American trypanosmiasis, silent disease or silenced disease. It is caused by the parasite Trypanosoma crisu. This parasite is transmitted to humans through the tritomine bug which is also known as the kissing bug. The disease usually affects impoverished people living in rural areas under poor hygiene conditions. People in regions like Central America, Mexico and South America are more prone to catching the disease. Once infected, Chagas disease can cause a person to suffer heart failure and can lead to severe digestive and cardiac alterations that can prove fatal. Question 8. Consider the following statements about the Uttarmerur inscription. 1. The inscription gives details of the functioning of the local sabha, i.e. the village assembly. 2. The Uttarmerur inscription details how members were selected, the required qualifications, their roles and responsibilities, and even the circumstances in which they could be removed. 3. The inscription describes a number of important committees within the Sabha with their own distinct functions. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. The inscription is like a local constitution for the Gram Sabha. It tells how the assembly should be run, what should be the qualification of members, should be the process to elect the members, and how a member would be disqualified. While Uttarmerur has multiple inscriptions spanning centuries, the most famous one being referred to by Modi is from the reign of Parantakai, 907 to 953 AD. These provide a detailed description of the village's self-governance and have been cited by historians and political leaders alike as evidence of India's history of democratic functioning. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.